well uh, good afternoon here everyone and here I am once again uh, this time what we have here is a DAC sound card called Allo Boss DAC it's a digital to analog converter audio sound card actually that we have out here this is the DAC sound card that we have so it basically uses the this uh, DAC chip from text instrument called uh, PCM5122 so this is the chip out here that we have here and this is quite a good implementation of uh, PCM that we have got from Allo called Allo Boss and uh, it's a uh, very good and stands out in this regard that uh, it filters out the power uh, in a very good way uh, by using uh, low voltage oscillators, uh, low voltage regulators and uh, uh, low noise uh, regulators in a very effective way that we can see here in this implementation here. So this basically filters out the noise actually which causes the jitter, the, the unnecessary jitters in the clock signals that are being filtered filtered out by using these uh, low noise uh, voltage oscillators that are being used in the power side, the analog power side and the digital power side. So basically that way this implementation of this uh, uh, low boss uh, DAC, DAC sound card stands out that it tries to uh, tries to bring the noise down the noise flow down and uh, tries to bring the jitters in the clock and it tries to provide a quite a good effective clock clocking uh, and that way it provides a very good uh, good audio quality actually having an improved SNR and the THD distortion is quite less actually and uh, that we can see here so and also it supports um, this PCM5122 DAC supports three, uh, for, for, from 8 kHz till 384 kHz sampling rate. So uh, what I have tried to do here is that uh, I have taken the driver of this Allo Boss and there were a lot of changes that had to be done to make it uh, portable to this RPI 3 that I have here. So these changes were done. And it effectively acts as a slave, actually, as a slave to this RPA3. So that's it about it. And, uh, and uh, the configuration, all the register settings, and all were being correctly done to support I2S format, actually, and 32 uh, bit, uh, 32 bit um, uh, audio samples with uh, 48 kilohertz playback. And uh, what I have done here is that uh, I've connected the audio out to uh, my JBL go to uh, speaker because it doesn't uh, doesn't have any amplifier actually so basically we are using the amplifier of this uh, speaker that we have here so and the, the rest of the things like the drivers and all were being correctly instantiated the clocking was correctly done and uh, registered successfully actually so what we can see here is that the drivers are quite um, well uh, uh, well supported and they are been registered successfully and basically the PC5122 driver so that's a good thing about it the driver is quite uh, effectively supported by RPI3 actually the PC5122 I2C driver actually so the, basically the I2C is being used here as control for control actually so let's see actually how it looks while we play actually so and also there is a super capacitor that has been added at the analog side of the DAC actually so which provides an extra kick or extra so that super cap is not visible out here it's at the bottom of this uh, this board that we have here this uh, DAC uh, Allo Boss DAC board so it is there at the down so that provides a little bit of extra kick or the bass the bass comes up and at the low frequencies and that provides an effective bass so that's what I could observe uh, distinctively uh, when I was uh, uh, um, when when I was uh, playing the audio actually and so it provides a very good implementation of PCM actually so let's see uh, uh, let's do a playback actually. so let's uh, see our audio cards and yeah here you can see here this is my DAC sound card here when we do a play at and then and there is my hi-fi DAC boss DAC hi-fi and uh, if we try to play something let's say Play a piano, a small piano note. So there the pass comes up, little bit of kick 
is there. And similarly, if we try to play a number, um, there's one from Backstreet Boys that I'm trying to play here. So here, if we check the Alsa mixer of this one, Sound card comes up. Select the sound card here. You can see the mixer settings, and here you can see the digital volume actually. This is the volume uh, key control actually, the SND key control. And yes, we can see here it is at minus 20 dB actually. So at minus 20 dB, the sound is quite good, and uh, there is an extra kick actually which we can see. And uh, if we increase so that's about it um, I hope uh, you like it and uh, maybe uh, if you try it uh, you won't be disappointed by it and the offered uh, the offered uh, implementation that it provides with the help of hello boss so you can enjoy a lot of good music and with uh, quite a good extra bass. So this is uh, this plays out a lot nice role in case where uh, the noise and jitter comes into play and it degrades the audio quality. So this offers quite a good solution to it in a better way. So uh, I, mu I won't say that it's the best implementation but because uh, there are other implementations also possible of this. But it is uh, surely a good implementation, basically. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Thank you.